Fox News had a reporter on the scene yesterday explaining what was going on inside this brand new country, Chaz, the country of Chaz. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so here's the reporter from Fox News on, Tucker's, on Tucker Carlson's show last night. A local station got video of several guards armed with assault rifles. They are asking for identification before letting people in. And police have received reports of the armed guards demanding money from some businesses inside their area. We also saw people passing out food in what they call a no-cop co-op. And they made a long list of demands. We have a full screen to show you at least some of them. Among them, abolish the Seattle Police Department and the court system, disarm all cops until they are all fired, and abolish youth jails. The mayor's for? office did not Who respond to our request for? for a request Who for information for? about what they plan to do next. So they're, they're, they're allowing these crazies to take over. Like, this is a place where taxpayers live. This is a place where taxpayers live. So how's your whole abolish the police thing going if you're living in that area? Is it going well for you? By the way, some of the signs around the area are things like the cops will always be racist because capitalism requires inequality. Okay, so you would imagine that there are no cops now, right? I mean, like, this is the whole point, is to get rid of the cops. Wrong you are. Wrong you are. The cops are there. They're just not called cops. So according to Reddit, okay, people have been posting on Reddit what exactly is going on. There's a person named Raz Simone. Raz Simone is a rapper. Apparently, he has been distributing his rap mixtape to, <laughs> to as many people as he can. <laughs> it's according to commenters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read you some of the comments. Okay, you ready? This is so good. It's from a, a guy called Wizard of the Future over at Reddit. Raz's crew is self-appointed, heavily armed, has indicated their intention to police the area, and has engaged in the use of force. I am unaware of any rival street force of their statue expressing the desire to hold authority in the area. The power of vacuum has apparently been filled. <laughs> and then, <coughs> apparently... One of the other comments would say, I only knew him from three years ago when he gave my staff his mixtape when he came into our work. <laughs> and apparently, people are tweeting out things like, Raz is becoming the very thing people didn't want to begin with. There's a video that is out of the people working with Raz Simone in, in which they are confronting people who are graffitiing. Now, apparently, they only want certain places graffiti because they're certain allies and they don't want their businesses graffitied. So weird, they want to protect the property of people who they are allied with. But I thought that private property is bad, guys. So they walk up to some people who are graffitiing. These are people who apparently work for Raz Simone, allegedly work for Raz Simone. And the exchange is just glorious. Because remember, this whole thing started about the evils of police brutality and authoritarianism. And literally, you now have an armed force of people in this Seattle communist area telling people, we are the police now, and I will blow your brains out if you resist. So police brutality went away for like that long, apparently. And by the way, Seattle cops aren't doing that. Seattle cops are not doing that. This is the, these are the woke, the woke initiates. The woke army has arrived. I, I'm, I'm start, I want to start a GoFundMe today. Any woke white liberals who are working for mainstream media outlets, if you wish to relocate to Chaz, to the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, I will help pay your way. If you pledge that you will stay there, if you can show evidence that you are willing to stay there for the entire duration of Chaz's uh, of, of Chaz's existence, and you are willing to subject all of your bank accounts to the tender mercies of Chaz, I am more than willing to subsidize your, your immigration to this, this area outside the United States. And here's a little bit of the video that was released. It's about an hour long, so it's been cut down, obviously. This started with people talking. It ended with a scuffle, somebody's glasses being broken, somebody's phone being broken, and somebody being put to the ground. <laughs> all of this because the police are evil, guys, because the police are bad. Police are bad, so... This is better, obviously. I mean, come on. We wouldn't want the anarchist situation to, to get chaotic or anything. We need, we need some tyranny. So here, here we go. You don't know the owner of this place? <laughs> the owner that's actually being nice and letting us stay here? Oh, God. We forgot. We are the police of this community now. Hey! What the? Hey, 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 hey. What the? We are the police of this community. Oh, you got someone coming in 15 minutes? I just said 15 so, minutes. You talking about 15 minutes? What the f are you talking about? Don't be talking no threats around here, man. Don't be saying no threats. I'll blow your brains out. Don't do that. Don't be saying no threats. I'll blow your brains out. This is all from a YouTube video that was posted by people from inside the, the Seattle Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. 
So very, very solid stuff, everybody. Just really, really good stuff. By the way, Raz Simone apparently announced that people entering ought to be stopped and frisked. Remember when stop and frisk was a bad thing? Because it was the cops, right? The cops were bad. According to the whole story, Raz Simone, a Seattle local, stated he belongs to the People's Force, a replacement for Seattle PD. On June 8th in a live video, he advised that unfamiliar faces should be stopped, questioned, and checked to see if they are armed, which is literally the definition of stop and frisk, which is racist, right? I mean, stop and frisk is bad. We can't do it. So according to Como News, it was an unusual sight. Seattle Fire Chief Harold Scoggins working with people occupying streets in Seattle's Capitol Hill's neighborhood to close two large rolling metal gates that lead into the garage of the East Precinct. The Seattle Police Department had abandoned the East Precinct two days earlier. After receiving threats, there would be attempts to burn it down. There are no police officers around. There are no other firemen or city personnel with Scoggins. He says, I was walking through. Someone pointed out to me the gates were not closed. They were jammed. The chains weren't working. I just wanted to secure the building. He was in the center of what's now being called the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, named by the people who occupy it. I told him this report for Como. I thought it was unusual. A fire chief was trying to secure a police precinct by himself while being surrounded by hundreds of people occupying the streets who have shown a disdain for police. He says, well, we got a team. We're working through this. There is some trust built. I don't want to compromise that trust. Raz Simone, who some have told me is one of the leaders in, one, in what many have said is a leaderless group of protesters. He said, look, you look around. It's peaceful. Everyone is chill. Well, except for that tape. That was not quite so chill. And that lack of an organized leadership is hampering efforts to bring some normalcy to the area and have officers return to the precinct according to Assistant Police Chief Deanna Nolette. Nolette said her department and other city departments are trying to find the leaders of the CHAZ to negotiate a roadmap for the area's immediate future. You know what this roadmap should be? The cops never left. That would be the roadmap. By the way, they are damn lucky that Janet Reno isn't attorney general right now. If this were a bunch of white branch Davidians in Texas, their compound would be burned out by now, right? But now, because this is, because this is the woke initiates, we're just going to allow a six block radius in the center of the biggest city in Washington state to be taken over. Nolet said, while Washington is an open carry state, there's no legal right for those to be used, those arms to be used to intimidate community members because apparently they're trying to intimidate people trying to enter. She said operating a citizen checkpoint on a public street is illegal. She said, we've heard anecdotally of citizens and businesses being asked to pay a fee to operate within this area. So there are reports of, of an actual shakedown happening inside the area. Why, it seems as though the communist slash anarchist takeover is not all it's cracked up to be. I don't feel like injustice is being cured, guys. I don't feel like this is going well. By the way, what is the city of Seattle doing about all of this? They've staffed porta-potties there. They've granted all the protesters porta-potties. They've put garbage cans and portable toilets in the vicinity for use by demonstrators. The, the demonstrators, by the way, are also showing, they, they put up a big movie screen and they're showing Ava DuVernay's 13th, documentary from Netflix about how the prison system is evil. And then Ava DuVernay, not having to live here, of course, she, she puts up a message, blessings and bravery to all the good people at Chaz tonight, onward. Anytime Ava DuVernay wants to relocate from, I'm sure, her posh estate down to the, the city, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone with no police protection, and if she wants to bring her bank account with her, then she is absolutely free to do so. And I very much look forward to her, to her doing that. That, that, sounds, that sounds great. What are they actually demanding? So here's the demands. See, one of the things that's happened here is that there's a there's in in semantics, right? In, in linguistics, there's a term called semantic overload. Semantic overload is when there's a term that is deliberately vague, so it means more than one thing. Black Lives Matter is a perfect example of this. As my friend Eric Weinstein has pointed out, Black Lives Matter means something that is perfectly obvious and that we all agree with, Black Lives Matter, but it also means something more, which is you're supposed to agree with the group, Black Lives Matter, or their demands. And that's ridiculous because the Black Lives Matter group is very distinct from the message of Black Lives Matter. In fact, the Black Lives Matter group is incredibly radical. They call for things that nobody in America wants, including Democrats. They're extraordinarily anti-Semitic in their leadership team. And so the, the semantic overload for Black Lives Matter has become perfectly obvious. And so what are the demands of the people living and, and ruling now in, in this particular area of Seattle? Wait until you hear these demands because they are spectacular. They are spectacular. What they demand in order to leave free taxpaying citizens alone in the United States of America because they say they're no longer living in the United States of America. They literally have a sign, again, that says, you are now leaving the USA. And how's that going for everybody when the commune's food is being eaten by all the homeless and you have to ship in vegan meat to all the protesters? Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.